Hello YouTube, my name is Hero and today we're going to be discussing my opinion on Star Wars The Last Jedi and I believe that this is going to be the only true honest opinion about the movie on the entire platform of YouTube. I have scoured and searched, trust me. I wanted to see what people thought about this and it has left a lot of people divided. Some people are saying it is the best Star Wars movie ever made, while others are saying it is the worst Star Wars movie ever made or one of the worst Star Wars ever movies ever made. And even beyond that, it's just a terrible movie in general that doesn't make any sense in terms of character progression and the way it handles its plot and story beats. And to both sides, I would say, um, shut the fuck up. This movie is not by any means the best movie you're ever going to see in your life. It's not a masterpiece. It's not perfect. There is some fucking stupid shit that happens in this movie. I will tell you right now, there's some dumb shit that happens. But at the same time, it's definitely not the worst movie you're ever going to see. It's not the shittiest, most disgusting vowel creation that was ever made. It has problems, but there are some amazing, spectacular moments that happen in this movie that honestly are so daring and so bold that it's just hard to believe that they actually happen they're unpredictable you didn't see them coming the plot twists i mean and it, you have to respect that now i'm going to go into detail about what people are saying about this movie and negativity without trying to spoil it but keep in mind it's very hard to do that because well the nature of the movie is very easy to spoil things for you but i'll try to keep it as short as possible and we're going to start with the handling of luke skywalker now from the beginning of the teasers for the force awake for the force awakens and as well as the last jedi we saw luke as a sort of con a different kind of person than what we're used to seeing him he's not that happy-go-lucky kid that he was in the original trilogy he's now a much more laid back and uh you know uh, more of a um an older wiser man which is what you would expect from an a jedi to become it happened to obi-wan kenobi it happened to yoda it happened to all the jedis that lived for a long time in the series so it makes sense that it would happen to luke however the way luke is treated in this story is at the beginning at least quite different than what most people are expecting of him they're expecting him to be this grand nice hero but in fact he's much more pessimistic about the world and his his outlook on it has changed dramatically consider what he's been through and the way he's handled it actually makes a lot of sense especially considering that during the movie luke actually explains this to the audience why he's the way he is and you kind of get an understanding of hey man it, it's if, if this kind of stuff happened to you, wouldn't you think the way he's thinking? Maybe you wouldn't, but that doesn't mean it's completely out of the realm of possibility. People just look at Luke Skywalker as some kind of a god. If you look at him as a normal human character with flaws and weaknesses that he always had, even in the originals, you can see how he would become this kind of person. So it's absolutely ridiculous that people are saying that they destroyed the legacy of Luke Skywalker. If you ask me, they completely respected it and the way they handled it was absolutely beautiful in my opinion i cannot speak on someone else's opinion on the matter but what i can say is to say that this is completely impossible that luke skywalker would behave this way is absolutely absurd the next thing that people often complain about with the movie is the slow plot which i would have to agree there are some points where the plot slows down where it's kind of iffy and it kind of takes away from the movie but hey those things are what makes the movie kind of lame in certain areas and it's once again it's not a perfect movie it does have flaws but let's go back to the good stuff there's people that complain about the handling of kylo ren and what happens with him in the movie which i just cannot honestly believe that people find an issue with this character at this point just because he's not darth vader do you want the same exact thing again or do you want a villain that's actually different that actually reacts to things with emotion rather than logic and while darth vader was the exact opposite kylo ren is the perfect villain for a new star wars because the way he handles his situations the way he thinks is something we haven't seen before which is what people were clamoring for in the last movie now we've gotten that we've gotten a villain that is unlike anything we've ever seen the way they handle this villain in this movie 
is completely unpredictable i'm telling you you will not see it coming i promise i'm that's why i'm not spoiling it for you guys for anyone who hasn't seen it yet because the 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 way they handle kylo ren is the best part of this movie it's simply it's simply astonishing the way they twist and so i i'm a, i'm a good predictor i'm a predictor of movies i often know what's gonna happen in this movie i had no fucking idea what was gonna happen and when it happened i was like wow these guys really do understand how to make a good twist they understand how to challenge the viewer in in the way they think and pretty much just give us completely different perspective on a character it's it's absolutely amazing what they did with kylo ren in this movie i will fight anyone on that to the death and the last thing that i see a lot of people complain about is the underestimates underestimization or the the change in the force and pretty much they made the force a lot more powerful in this movie which i can understand there is one scene in particular if you've seen the movie or plan on seeing it you'll you'll know what i'm talking about when you see it that is absolutely borderline retarded it's absolutely disgusting what happens with the force in one scene in this movie it, it should not be in the movie it was absolutely terrible it's probably the worst part of the movie it was only a few seconds but it was absolutely terrible so i completely understand that but then on the other side there was an amazing part of the force where luke is training ray and he teaches her something he teaches her that the force is not only about light it's not only about darkness it's about a balance in between the two and that what he taught ray is what ray will take on with her into the into the next movie i pretty much guarantee that but the irony of this is that the lesson of the movie is balance between what's good and what's bad and people who are reviewing this movie are not even taking that lesson into consideration when reviewing the movie it's about balance the movie is not 100 perfect the movie is not 100 trash there's a balance there and i'm not sure if that was intentional i'm not sure if it was written that way i i highly doubt it i think the trash things were accidental but the highs really do outweigh the lows if I had to put it on a scale, especially for a Star Wars fan like myself. And I'm not looking at this thing with nostalgia goggles. I'm not looking at this thing with, you know, the hype. I've had a couple uh, hours to sit with it. And I truly do believe that this movie is not the best movie ever made, but it's definitely not the worst. And I think that if you are a fan of Star Wars, if you do enjoy Star Wars and you think that this movie will be something that you will enjoy, do not let the reviews hold you back from going to go see this movie because it is definitely worth your time if you are interested even in the slightest in seeing it Sometimes. but yeah that's just my take on this i'm really i'm really not good at movie reviews because i think they're kind of dumb but hey let me know what you guys think in the comments below it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace